kid. My name is Lynn. If you hear a lot of pitter-patter feet, that's just Lily eating. <laughs> um, I've been trying to start this for a few minutes, but obviously she's going to eat. She actually eats better when I'm out in the kitchen. So um, she takes it, grabs a mouthful, runs away, comes back. We, we describe it as like she's rubbing a bank, <laughs> hitting it and going. <laughs> So you're going to hear her. The microphone is where is great, but it picks up even her. So I apologize for that in advance. Hopefully she'll be done soon. Um, today we're going to do a couple of new things. I'm pretty excited. One is kind of new. One is brand new to me. Um, the first thing we're going to do is apple chips. Now I've made, I've dehydrated apple chips before, but this time I'm going to do them with cinnamon sugar on them. See, there she goes. Cinnamon sugar on them with uh, and dehydrate them. Um, I have no idea if this is going to work. For once, I did not research it, which I know is a shocker for, for me to not research anything. But I figure if you can buy them <laughs> with the cinnamon sugar or the caramel or whatever it is baked into them, if you can buy them, then why can't I do it? So we're going to try it. And I have to get to these apples. I still have one whole bushel and a half to get through. And I've already had to go through a few of them and give them to the chickens because they're going bad. Um, and that's not good. We paid a lot for these you pick apples, so I don't want to waste any. So I might be doing some canning today too, which you've seen me can apples before during the Arabic Counts Challenge. So we won't do that again. So um, I will say I've already got quite a few done. <laughs> and they're so pretty. Okay. Um, and I have one more I'm going to cut up. And I'm using my mandolin. Um, this is great. I could never in a million years cut those thin enough with a knife <laughs> like I can with my mandolin. So, um, yeah, <laughs> um, I highly recommend it. But if you have great knife skills and you can cut them skinny enough, you can certainly use a knife. So you just, this little handy dandy thing is great for, if you don't want to hurt your fingers. So these apples have been so big, I haven't been able to use it every time. I have to wait till they get down quite a bit. And it has a uh, little thing here that can hold a carrot, which is kind of cool. So great for onion, um, onions. Well, yeah, I guess it would be good for onions. Onion, uh, apples and potatoes. So that's the last one I'm going to do. I honestly have no idea how many this is going to do. And the seeds just come out. I was going to cut the centers out, but they are so pretty. That little star that I've decided to leave them. Just make sure the seeds are out, which for the most part, they knock off themselves when they're going through. Okay, so we are going to lay these down. And I will say the Silipat uh, sheets are probably a must for this. <laughs> or you're going to have chickens will get the rest of these pieces because they're not they're just little chunks um yeah I wouldn't want the cinnamon sugar to go through this into my machine so if you don't have these parchment paper will work so I just want to make sure the seeds are all out of here Yeah, I'm gonna, this is um, my cinnamon sugar, and I'm just gonna use the small holes, and I don't, well, maybe not, maybe the next to biggest. There we go. I don't want a ton, and I'm not gonna worry about both sides. And yes, these are washed, <laughs> and I left the peeling on. I keep going, I'm gonna put this in my dehydrator on 135, because that's what's recommended for fruit. And you won't be able to see the finished product in this video, but stay tuned. I will show you the finished product in another video coming up soon. Um, but I'm going to keep going on these, get them going in the dehydrator, and then we're going to work on the second thing that's brand new, and I'm very excited to share it with you. At the last second, I decided to cut the centers out of some of these um, just as an experiment to see if they dehydrate better, different, um, and it just looks different in the jar. Um, this cherry pitter worked great. It punched out the uh, core perfectly, and uh, yeah, it's all about experimenting, right? So I'm curious to see how these are going to do. Apple 
rings are going in the dehydrator. So the next thing I'm going to make is elderberry syrup gummies. Um, this is a second batch of elderberry syrup I made. Um, Aiden was coming down with something a few weeks ago. So we all took one hit a day. He was taking four and within three days he was completely better. We never got sick and all the kids on his cross country team were still sick. I think some of them still are sick. So I love my elderberry syrup, but when you're sick and you take up to four times a day, it's really hard if you're at school or work to do that. So I want to make some gummies so it's easier for one, everyone to take one every day just to keep us from getting sick. And if we do get sick, it's a lot easier portable wise <laughs> to have elderberry syrup gummies. So um, I will link um, somewhere here uh, the video where I made elderberry syrup. It's very, very easy. If you don't grow your elder own elderberries, you can buy them off Amazon organic dried elderberries. They're, it's a good price, and if you don't grow them, I did happen to grow mine. I have four beautiful trees that produced amazing amount of elderberries this year. So, okay, so the important thing is, is you do need it cooled. So if you're making this now, let this cool before you go on to the next steps. Okay, so we're going to need one cup, eventually, of elderberry, cooled elderberry syrup. We're going to need a quarter cup of um, gelatin, or it's four of these packets. Knox uh, gelatin that I got when we were in the States in um, New York um, just because I find it hard to find um, gelatin in the amounts I need. Um, I wish I could buy it in bulk. I'm still searching for a good source, but maybe I will. So you're going to need four of them and two-thirds cup of war hot water, not boiling. From my tap is pretty hot, so we're going with that. So in this measuring cup, I have a quarter cup of the elderberry syrup. Before I get to that, I forgot. You're also going to need some kind of mold. I got these off of Amazon. I can link them down in the description box below. I bought these to make homemade um, gumdrops, but they're going to be they're good for anything. Or you can even find. I found this at our Dollar Tree, obviously at Valentine's Day, but they they probably will have them again. Um, I'm sure they've got Halloween ones out right now or Christmas. But anyway, you can also use that. This is pretty flimsy, so I do put it on a cookie sheet. And I think I'm gonna do the circles, and if we have more, then I'll go to the hearts. You're also gonna need, I find this is the the best. Um, this is also from the Dollar Tree. These are those I showed you before. They come in a pack of two, they're $1.50 here, because our Dollar Tree is $1.50 or $1.75 or $1 or $2, depending on what you're buying. Anyway, this is just the top from them, and I sterilized it before I used it, just to make sure. Um, I just put it in really hot water for a few minutes, <laughs> okay, in a whisk. All right, so into the quarter cup of elderberry syrup, we are going to put this gelatin. Now, you can add more gelatin if you like them gummier, but I'm just going to go with the uh, four packs. I only have one more box of the Knox, <laughs> so, all right, and we're going to whisk that until the gelatin dissolves. Okay, and now we're gonna add the two thirds cups of warm, hot, but not boiling water. And we're just gonna whisk that until it's thoroughly dissolved. Okay, that is dissolved and it's already gelling. And then we're gonna put the rest of the elderberry syrup so one cup total is what we're using. Okay. That is good and combined. Then we're gonna take our dropper and we're just gonna fill these up. I'm wondering if a bigger turkey baster would work. Okay, this works, but it takes forever. <laughs> Should I try? Uh, I don't know, let me see. Okay, I am going to carefully keep filling these and you want them filled to the top. I'm thinking a bigger baster would work better. I'm gonna search for a bigger one than this. And I'm just going to keep filling them. We let them sit. Um, let's see, 
one. I'm going to put them into the refrigerator for an hour and then I'll bring you back and we'll pop them out and we'll see how they taste. Okay, these were actually in the refrigerator for three hours. I tried them after one and they weren't ready. So Gracie and I are going to taste test one. First we're going to see hopefully how easy they pop out. Oh, oh wow, look at them. That's so cool. They're gummy, so they're popping out pretty easily. So you can keep these in the refrigerator for two months. Um, this isn't even going to last us two months. If we take one a day, four of us, I need over a hundred of them. But uh, we'll start with this and see how we go. All right, they're coming out not too bad. What about the hearts? Oh, wow, look at that, Grace. It's a heart. <laughs> All right, Grace, we're going to try one of the circle ones. Okay, so that's what it looks like. And go. They're definitely gummy. Almost like a jelly. <laughs> I don't know about these, Grace. Hmm. I think I need to use more gelatin to make them more of a gummy. Because these are more of a jelly. I wouldn't call these gummies. They're like a jelly. Okay, I got it down. <laughs> All right. The important thing is, is they're good for us. <laughs> but there's no way Aiden is going to eat these. I don't even know if Daddy will. Um, without them being a little bit more a gummy texture. So I'm going to have to work on it. If you like jelly, this will actually absolutely work. You could almost spread this on toast or something in the morning to make it easier to eat. Because they're not gummy, they're jelly. They're very jelly. I wouldn't call those gummies. Would you call them gummy? No, they're, they're jelly consistency. All right, that's okay, I've been experimenting. I will make another batch in a couple of days. I am, I'm not gonna waste these. We are gonna have to figure out a way to use them. Like I said, I'm thinking on toast, <laughs> maybe, I don't know. Um, let's see how easy these are gonna pop out. Oh yeah, they pop right out. But yeah, they they look like a gummy. I'll just show you the heart one. But they taste like jelly. Like they're not. I want them a little more gummy. So I'm thinking maybe five packets of that gelatin, maybe. We will we'll try it. <laughs> Thanks for trying them, Grace. Okay, that's it, friends. Uh, make sure you come back to see how the apple chips are um, made out. The house smells amazing. It smells so good over there. It smells like apple pie um, right now. So uh, make sure you come back here. I will give you an update on that and a couple other updates of a few things I made or um, yeah, experimented with. Um, it might be a whole update video. I'll include the apple chips and let you know how the magnesium oil is working, how the cranberry juice I made for uh, Every Bit Counts Challenge did that work? Um, I think there's a few other things. So make sure you uh, stay tuned. That video will be coming out real soon. Until then, take care. God bless. And we'll see you all soon.